Hey guys, it's me again, Justin, with another tech video. Medyo natagalan kasi we had hit a creative roadblock. But this time around, I have here my friend's PC. Shout out sa lahat ng mga nag-comment sa last video. If you want a shout out for the next video, then leave a comment down below. And if you enjoy budget PC building, then hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. You can see the case is quite nice. It's from Dark Flash. But inside, sa loob, medyo outdated na tong PC na to guys. So my friend uses this one for Netflix, web browsing, and back then he used to play MU Philippines and Dragon Ness. A year ago, this was supposed to be the first ever content on this channel. Ah, uh, kaso lang, kaso lang. <laughs> Back then, when I was trying to film the video, medyo pangit pa yung kuwa ko noon. And hindi ko siya mabuo kahit anong edit ko. <laughs> and this time around, it came back kasi nung una noon, it has a problem na walang display a year after that eto na naman same problem so in this video we're gonna find out how we can troubleshoot the PC that has the power on pero walang display stick around guys we'll also try to benchmark this thing as I told you na medyo old spec na siya. So I'd like to know if it can run any modern title or play any games at all. Stick around. So sabi ko guys, a year ago, this PC had the same problem as right now. nag yung video card niya. So hindi alam nung may, ng friend ko na ganun lang yun. And what I did was reset the video card. Tapos gumana na. So I was thinking na this time, Ganun na naman ang problem. So, ni-reset ko lang yung video card ulit. Ang kaso, hindi siya gumana. Which made me think na baka defective na tong video card, guys. Kasi napakatagal na din talaga ng video card na to. Tignan nyo, may mga kalawang na. So, baka sira na. Kaya, the next thing I did was try to replace it with something that I know is working. So, here comes my RTX 3090. <laughs> Nung napalitan ko na, hindi pa din gumana. So, now I believe na hindi video card yung problem ng machine kasi this video card na pinalit ko ay working fine sa other system ko. So, I then proceeded to the next potential cause ng problem which are the RAM sticks. His PC has a single DDR3 RAM. So, what I did was reset the RAM on both slots. Trial and error lang kung anong slot yung working. Baka may isang defective. Pero hindi gumana. Baka tong RAM na to ay sira na din. So, the next thing I did was try and replace the RAM. And then, boom! Guys, gumana na. Apparently, the problem was caused by this defective RAM stick. And napadali ko sana yung troubleshooting. If I have something like this, this is the motherboard speaker. Maririnig natin agad yung bit codes pag, pag meron tayo nito. Tapos, from there, we can know which part is potentially causing the problem. Let's go on to the specs of the PC. This one is an Athlon 2 X2 260 CPU uh, on the AM3 platform. But ma the motherboard I'm using is uh, an AM3 Plus motherboard. This processor is a 2-core, two 2-threaded two CPU. We are running at the base clock speed of uh, 3200 MHz. Feel ko hindi naman na kailangan i-overclock na ito kasi very minimal lang yung mag makukuha natin na gain. Trying to benchmark this thing, uh, we have the E8500 for the reference. Guys, if you have seen the last video, 
Then yung E8500 is uh, from the LGA775 socket. And yung price nun is around 100 pesos. And we are getting a uh, and we are getting half the performance of a uh, port to duo. So it's kind of sad. So this processor should cost 50 pesos, right? The GPU we have is a G GeForce 210, and we have the DDR2 variant. So this one, as I've said, is very old. It came, it was released in 2009. So I do not expect much from this card at all. The first game I wanted to test was Valorant. However, guys, the GT210 DDR2 variant cannot run the game at all. So let's move on to CSGO. So CSGO, we are expecting the performance of CSGO to be the same as that uh, or close to that of Valorant. And here at 1080p resolution with the lowest settings, we are getting 13 to 14 average FPS. If you want to play the game with bots, tapos yung bots ay kaya kang patayin dahil sa lag. <laughs> then this is what you would expect even lowering the resolution to 720p doesn't change anything ganun pa din halos guys here is a game that we can play which is roblox at 1080p with the lowest settings we are getting around 40 to 45 fps average taktong sakto lang para maging waiter sa restaurant ko guys <laughs> Is another game that we can play this is League of Legends at 1080p lowest settings and at the end game I was able to get 63 FPS average this game is very optimized for lower end hardware so they did a really good job at 720p we're getting around 85 FPS so it's more than playable for this title. It's time to conclude my friend's PC build guys. Can it game in 2021? It depends on the game definitely. <laughs> the limiting part of this build is the GPU. Because the Athlon paired with the different card can still run some games like GTA 5 and Valorant. But since we're using the GT210, some games just won't open at all. And the performance in some games are horrible. And it's in the market for 500 pesos. Should you pay 500 pesos for this card? Stay away. I wouldn't pay more than 200 pesos for this card. Uh, there are better options, guys, in the market. Athlon 2 with the GT210. Quite bad, guys. And I wouldn't pay more than 1,500 for a system like this. So, yung case na is very blingy. That is the most expensive part of this build. So, kung ito total mo kasama yung case, should cost you around 4,000. Okay, well, since you've made it this far, then I'm sure you'd like it. <laughs> it's down below. Click the like button down below. Leave a dislike if it's not. Tapos, feel free to comment anything like suggestions, questions, and I'll sure to read them. And I'll see you all again in the next one.